I like your cut, G. What the f So today guys we're gonna learn how to do a skin fade. A mid-level skin fade, a very common haircut, something that a lot of people do. So it's a good guideline and a way to learn how to cut hair. If you were doing a haircut on yourself, this would be a good video to follow to do a self haircut. So first things first is you want to take your detailer and set in your bald line. Make sure you orientate the clipper so it's facing the person's head set in a hard board line all the way around and be meticulous and get all the hairs at the back of the neck at the bottom of the neck and round behind the ears you want to be very very meticulous at this stage and make sure you're grabbing all the hairs at this point now you want to set the level on top if the person wants a level two on top or level three on top wherever you're doing this as a self haircut you're doing right now Set your level two, your level three, your level four, wherever it is you're staying on top, set that in now for yourself. The reason why you do your bald line first is because you don't want to waste any time doing any hairs on the side of the head, which you don't need to do. You set in your bald line so you'll be pretty clear on what you do and you don't need to go over because it's already cut, it's already skipped. Then the next stage is you want to take your level one guard Close the clipper all the way, we'll call this the lever all the way closed and you want to sort of set in a centimetre and a half. Now you want to set in your 0.5, your 0.5 guard, put that on and you want to again make sure that the clipper is set to fully closed with your 0.5 and you want to go up halfway up that centimeter and a half that you've already done with your level one so cut that in half and use your 0.5 and go all the way around going halfway up what you've already done don't be shy or be put off by seeing this hard gradient that we now see all the way around this, the person's head or your own head a lot of people panic when they see this and think oh my god i'm messing up but it's a good thing we can see this is going to help us at a later stage now what you want to do is you want to rub out those hard lines that you have in between the 0.5 and the one that you've done and the one and the two or in this case that we have on the top of the head or whatever level you have at the top of the head So now you want to rub out the, the hard gradient line in between the top and the level one that we created. So you want to take a level one again and this time again opening the lever all the way open to the least sharp setting on the clipper and you want to flick out that line in between the top and the level one. Now if you've got a level three on top or a level four on top you might want to take a clipper in between. If you've got a level three you want to take the level two and you want to sort of rub out that line that you've got at the top which separates the top and the level one that we've created if you've got a level four on top you want to take a level three and rub out that line on top now what you want to do is you want to rub out those hard lines that you have in between the 0.5 and the one that you have done take your 0.5 and you rub out the line in between the 0.5 and the 1 you set your guard to all the way open this time and you want to sort of very accurately in a flicking motion flick out that line that hard line in between the 0.5 and the 1 you sort of want to flick it out very accurately you're not moving going too far up and too far down very accurately on the line flicks in the upward flicking away from the head some of the flicks may seem like you're not doing anything but believe me they are keep on going and work your way around the head take your time Now you want to rub out the line at the bottom which is in between the skin and the 0.5 that we created. In order to do this I want you to remove all the guards on the clipper, set the clipper to the sharpest setting it has 
and now move it a quarter of the way backwards. Just a quarter. So it's easy for you to understand what I'm saying. Set it to its sharpest, then set it a quarter of the way back. So it's not halfway, halfway in between halfway and the sharpest. So a quarter of the way back and sort of rub out that bottom line in between the skin and the 0.5. Again, in the flicking motion away from the head. So rubbing it, rubbing out that line, go all the way around. Before doing your hairline or before doing the shape up, you want to comb the hair forward, make sure all the hairs are laying where they should be laying once you're done. Now, going on to the shape up. So, shape up, you want to imagine that at maximum, you're going to take the hair back one millimeter. So we start at the middle of the head because it's a good place to start. It sort of sets the tone for the rest of the hairline. So a millimeter back, right in the middle of there, in a straight line make sure it's directly horizontal you're not slanted one way or the other and from there you want to work your way to the left go back to the middle after you've done that and go to the right and then set in your corners make sure it's a nice 90 degree angle Now I want you to do some detailing. Um, look for any dark spots or clumps of hair which weren't quite faded properly during the earlier stages. Um, if they're towards the lower part of the fade, use a 0.5 guard and you want to take the corner of the clipper, set the clipper to the lowest setting, sort of rub out any sort of dark spots you see. If it's right at the bottom, you're seeing these clumps and you want to take off the 0.5 and do it. And if it's towards the top of the fade, you want to put the level one guard on there and sort of do it. Each time, remember, you're not placing the clipper flat on the person's head. You're just rubbing out this little clump with the corner of the clipper. It might not feel as though you're doing anything as you're doing it, but after you will notice that there is a slight change. And there we have it. You've got a crisp fade. So what others tend to do is they would go away, do extra detailing and enhancements and come back and say the finished product. And then what you have is something on screen which looks completely different from what you've done at home. Um, well, we are gonna continue that off screen to sort of take this haircut to the next level for, for the client as it were. But for home purposes, this is the stage and this is what it should look like at home. Um, as this is a basic tutorial, let's keep it basic. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share this with your friends, just in case they wanna learn. Like and subscribe, see you next time.